Baltistan Urdu, Biltstan Balti, also known as Baltiul or Little Tibet Balti, is a mountainous region in Pakistan administered Kashmir near the Karakoram Mountains just south of K2 the world's second highest mountain. Baltistan borders Gilgit to the west, Xinjiang China in the north, Ladakh on the southeast and the Kashmir Valley on the southwest. Its average altitude is over 3,350 meters (10,990 feet). Prior to 1947, Baltistan was part of the princely state of Jammu and Kashmir, having been conquered by Raja Gulab Singh's armies in 1840. Baltistan and Ladakh were administered jointly under one Wazirat district of the state. Baltistan retained its identity in this setup as the Skardu Tessel, with Kargil and Leh being the other two tessels of the district. After the Maharaja of Jammu and Kashmir acceded to India, Gilgit scouts overthrew the Maharaja's governor in Gilgit and captured Baltistan. The Gilgit Agency and Baltistan have been governed by Pakistan ever since. The Kashmir Valley and the Kargil and Leh tessels were retained by India. A small portion of Baltistan, including the village of Turtuk in the Nubra Valley, was incorporated into Ladakh after the Indo Pakistani War of 1971. The region is inhabited primarily by Balti people of Tibetan descent. Millennia-old Tibetan culture, customs, norms, language and scripts still exist, although the vast majority of the population follows Islam. Baltistan is strategically significant to Pakistan and India, the Kargil and Sharkhan wars were fought there. The region is the setting for Greg Mortensen's book, Three Cups of Tea. Topic. Geography The 1911 Encyclopædia Britannica characterises Baltistan as the western extremity of Tibet, whose natural limits are the Indus River from its abrupt southward bend around the map. 35.86 degrees north, 74.72 degrees east, 35.86, 74.72 bend in the Indus course and the mountains to the north and west. These features separate a comparatively peaceful Tibetan population from the fiercer Indo-Aryan tribes to the west. Muslim writers around the 16th century speak of Baltistan as the ''Little Tibet'' and of Ladakh as the ''Great Tibet'' emphasizing their ethnological similarity. According to Ahmad Hassan Dani, Baltistan spreads upwards from the Indus River and is separated from Ladakh by the Sharkhan Glacier. It includes the Indus Valley and the lower valley of the Shyok River. Baltistan is a rocky mass of lofty mountains, the prevailing formation being gneiss. In the north is the Baltoro Glacier, the largest out of the Arctic regions, 35 miles 56 km long, contained between two ridges whose highest peaks to the south are 25,000 feet 7,600 meters, and to the north 28,265 feet 8,615 meters. The Indus River runs in a narrow gorge, widening after receiving the Shire River at 35.23 degrees north 75.92 degrees east, 35.23, 75.92 Shayak joins Indus. It then forms a 20-mile crescent-shaped plain varying between 1 mile and 5 miles wide. The main inhabitable valleys of Kaming Kalu, Skardu and Roundy are along the roots of these rivers. Valleys and districts Degree Although under Indian control since 1971, geographically, the Turtuk part of Shyok Valley, is part of Baltistan region. History 
For centuries, Baltistan consisted of small, independent valley states connected by the blood relationships of its rulers rajas, trade, common beliefs and cultural and linguistic bonds. The states were subjugated by the Dogra rulers of Kashmir during the 19th century. On 29 August 2009 the government of Pakistan announced the creation of Gilgit-Baltistan, a provincial autonomous region with Gilgit as its capital and Skardu its largest city. Baltistan was known as Little Tibet, and the name was extended to include Ladakh. Ladakh later became known as Great Tibet. Locally, Baltistan is known as Baltiul and Ladakh and Baltistan are known as Mariul. Red Country. Topic <inaudible> Origins. Tibetan Kampa entered in Kalu through Chorbat Valley, and Dardic tribes came to Baltistan through Roundy Valley from Gilgit prior to civilization, and these groups eventually settled down, creating the Balti people. Today, the people of Kaming and Western Kalu have Tibetan features and those in Skardu, Shiga and the eastern villages of Kalu are Dards. It was believed that the Balti people were in the sphere of influence of Zhangshung. Baltistan was controlled by the Tibetan king Songtsen Gampo during the 7th century AD. Culturally influenced by Tibet, the Bon and animist Baltis began to adopt Tibetan Buddhism. Religious artifacts such as gompas and stupas were built, and lamas played an important role in Balti life. During the 14th century, Muslim scholars from Kashmir crossed Baltistan's mountainous terrain to spread Islam. The Kaming came under the control of the Namgyal royal family and developed a close relationship with Ladakh when the Raja of Ladakh, Jamyang Mangyal, attacked the principalities in Kargil. Mangyal annihilated the Skardu garrison at Kabu and put to the sword a number of petty Muslim rulers in the principalities of Purik Kargil. Ali Sher Khan Ankan, Raja of Kalu and Shiga, left with a strong army via Marol. Passing the Ladakhi army, he occupied Leh, the capital of Ladakh, and the Raja of Ladakh was taken prisoner. Ali Sher Khan Ankan included Gilgit and Chitral in his kingdom of Baltistan, reportedly a flourishing country. The valley from Kechna to Kachara was flat and fertile, with abundant fruit trees. The sandy desert now extending from Sundas to Skardu Airport was a prosperous town. Skardu had hardly recovered from the shock of the death of Ankan when it was flooded. In 1845, the area was seized by the Dogras. Tourism Skardu has several tourist resorts and many natural features, including plains, mountains and mountain valley lakes. The Diosai Plain, Satpara Lake and Basho also host tourists. North of Skardu, the Shiga Valley offers plains, hiking tracks, peaks and campsites. Other valleys in Baltistan region are Kalu, Rondu, Kachara Lake and Kaming. Glaciers <laughs> 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 Baltistan is a rocky wilderness of around 27,000 square miles, 70,000 square kilometers, with the largest cluster of mountains in the world and the biggest glaciers outside the polar regions. The Himalayas advance into this region from India, Tibet and Nepal, and north of them are the Karakoram range. Both ranges run northwest, separated by the Indus River. Along the Indus and its tributaries are many valleys. Glaciers include Baltoro Glacier, Biafo Glacier, Sharkin Glacier, Trango Glacier and godwin Austin Glacier. <laughs> Mountaineering 
Baltiston is home to more than 20 peaks of over 20,000 feet (6,100 meters), including K2, the second highest mountain on Earth. Other well-known peaks include Mashabram, also known as K1, Broad Peak, Hidden Peak, Gashabram 2, Gashabram IV, and Chogaliza in the Kalu Valley. The following peaks have been scaled. Topic Demographics The region has a population of about 322,000. It is a blend of ethnic groups, predominantly Tibetans, Baltis and Monpas. A few Kashmiris settled in Skardu, practicing agriculture and woodcraft. The Yabgo family of Kalu were from Yarkant County, China. Topic: Religion. Before the arrival of Islam, Tibetan Buddhism and Bon, to a lesser extent, were the main religions in Baltistan. Buddhism can be traced back to before the formation of the Tibetan Empire in the region during the 7th century. The region has a number of surviving Buddhist archaeological sites. These include the Manthal Buddha Rock, a rock relief of the Buddha at the edge of the village near Skardu, and the sacred rock of Hunza. Nearby are former sites of Buddhist shelters. Islam was brought to Baltistan by Sufi missionaries during the 16th and 17th centuries, and most of the population converted to Norbakshi Islam. The scholars were followers of the Kubrawiya Sufi order. Most Norbashi Muslims live in Ganch and Shiga districts, and 30% live in the Skardu district. Fauna Baltistan has been called a living museum for wildlife. Diosai National Park, in the southern part of the region, is habitat for predators since it has an abundant prey population. Domestic animals include yaks including hybrid yaks, cattle, sheep, goats, horses and donkeys. Wild animals include ibex, markhor, musk deer, snow leopards, brown and black bears, jackals, foxes, wolves and marmots. topic culture topic <culture> balti music and art According to Balti folklore, Mughal princess Gul Khatun, known in Baltistan as Mindok Giamo, Flower Queen brought musicians and artisans with her into the region and they propagated Mughal music and art under her patronage. Musical instruments such as the Cernai, Karnai, Dhol and Chang were introduced into Baltistan. <laughs> Dance Classical and other dances are classified as sword dances, brokchos and yakka and ghazal dances. Cho Oprasul commemorates a victory by the Makpon Rajas. As a mark of respect, the musician who plays the drum dang plays for a long time. A Makpon princess would occasionally dance to this tune. Gashopa, also known as Ghbu's La Corba, is a sword dance associated with the Gasho dynasty of Purik Kargil. Sneopa, the marriage procession dance by Pachones twelve wazirs who accompany the bride, is performed at the marriage of a Raja. Architecture <laughs> 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 Balti architecture has Tibetan and Mughal influences, and its monastic architecture reflects the Buddhist imprint left on the region. 
Buddhist style wall paintings can be seen in forts and Norbashi Kankas, including Chakshan Mosque in Kalu, Amburik Mosque in Shiga, Kankar e Muala Shiga, Kalu Fort, Shiga Fort, and Skardu Fort. Polo Polo is popular in Baltistan, and is indigenous to the Karakoram. Makpon ruler Ali Sher Khan Ankan introduced the game to other valleys during his conquests beyond Gilgit and Chitral. Media The Pakistan Broadcasting Corporation has radio and television stations in Kalu that broadcast local programs, and there are a handful of private news outlets. The Daily K2 is an Urdu newspaper published in Skardu serving Gilgit Baltistan for long time, and it is the pioneer of print media in Gilgit Baltization. Bad E. Shimmel claims the largest daily circulation in Gilgit and Baltistan. Nawa E. Sufia is a monthly magazine covering Baltistan's Nurbakshi sect. Notes Bibliography <laughs> 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 Agarwal, Ravina, 2004, Beyond Lines of Control, Performance and Politics on the Disputed Borders of Ladakh, India, Duke University Press, pp. 199, ISBN 0-8223-3414-3 Dani, Ahmad Hassan 1998, The Western Himalayan States in M. S. Asimov, C. E. Bosworth eds., History of Civilizations of Central Asia, Vol. 4, Part 1 — The Age of Achievement, A.D. 750 to the end of the 15th century — The Historical, Social and Economic Setting, UNESCO, pp. 215–225, ISBN 978-92-3-103467-1 Karim, Ifzia "'Strategic Dimensions of the Trans-Himalayan Frontiers' In K. Wariku, ed., Himalayan Frontiers of India, Historical, Geopolitical and Strategic Perspectives, Routledge, pp. 56–66, ISBN 978-1-134-03294-5 Piramshuaf, H. S., Dani, Ahmad Hassan The Pamirs, Badashan and the Trans-Pamir States in Charaya Adel, Irfan Habib eds., History of Civilizations of Central Asia, Vol. V. Development in Contrast, from the 16th to the mid-19th century, UNESCO, pp. 225–246, ISBN 978-92-3-103876-1. Topic: External links. www.pakistantoursguide.pk Britannica Baltistan.